very very good evening to all of you and as you have seen uh, our this special occasion which is unique uh, in terms of uh, we are on our people at the national and international level اتقدم بجزيل الشكر والامتنان للمنظمه العالميه للسلام والازدهار لاختيارها لي كاول سعودي يفوز بجائزتها ترجم ميكر اعمل ترجم I'd like to thank my friends at the peace and prosperity organization for honoring me on this occasion انني اعتز بهذا التكريم واعتبر هذا التكريم ليس لشخصي بل لمليكي وحكومتي وبلدي ومواطنيني فانا فرد من افراد المملكه العربيه السعوديه واعتبر هذه الجائزه لكل مواطن سعودي I'm very very proud of this reward it's a great honor for me not only for me but all the citizens of Saudi Arabia It's an honor to be recognized today by the um, Peace and Prosperity Foundation uh, sponsored by and partnered by Lord uh, Carrington of Fulham at the House of Lord um, uh, I'm really uh, privileged honored and of course uh, thrilled by this recognition uh, all the hard work has been paid off uh, by this uh, recognition. Well, I'm delighted to be able to host this very important event and it's, um, I'm so pleased that it uh, is looking such a success and any uh, thing that I can do to help this organization to prosper in the future and to grow from strength to strength, I will willingly and enthusiastically do. Can I just say, when you reach the age of 80 and enter your ninth decade, you do not expect to receive any honours. And this one particularly touches me as being a surprise, but also because it is within a world context. So much of my life of public service and service to the arts, service to the heritage in this country, might seem in very narrow focus, but it can be placed in a wider focus and in a world context. I am deeply honoured. Thank you. We are privileged due to Prince Mohsen Ali Khan's invitation. We came last time also for the high tea which we enjoyed tremendously and all the contacts he's got and all the introductions he's done. We are highly grateful to him. I come from San Diego, California. I'm a Japanese native. And you have been yes. awardee? Yes, and I had the greatest honor of receiving the award in 2014. Thank yeah. you very much. It's a wonderful evening. I've been to many of the award ceremonies before and everyone enjoys being here. I'm very grateful for what work you do and the work you do is splendid because the message is going of love, peace, prosperity and harmony. This is what we need. I'm happy uh, to be here today and uh, I must say that I'm a regular for this uh, for this uh, uh, receptions um, because I'm Princess Natalia Yusupov of Russia, but I spent all my life here. Nevertheless, I visit Russia from time to time. Anything that brings peace to our world, I'll be there supporting it. And I have to say that I'm standing next to two lovely people that have put a lot of passion and effort into all this tonight. Thank you very Thank much, you. Principal Sam. Thank you for inviting me here. It's a delight to see you and to see all these wonderful people supporting you. I would like to say thank you to Prince Mahsen and I would like to say thank you to Mr. Francis for all the work that they've done. I hope you carry on for many years the good work that you're doing. We're looking forward to being here again next year. I would like first of all to thank you very much, your Prince. We are very proud of our hero. And I can I can call her our hero at this moment in which we are very badly in need to a hero like her. Indeed. Indeed, I'm very, very, very proud and also my people and my country. Yes. And thank you very much for what you have done for her. We have a very worthy list of recipients tonight. Thank you very much. And I'm much. looking forward to discovering who all of them will be. It is a great pleasure to be here and I would always endorse anything related to peace and prosperity. I'm very happy to be here this evening on this very auspicious occasion and I'm looking very forward very much to hearing the presentations later on. I just want to add to what great work you and Francis Stanton are doing 
It's amazing that you've collected a gallery of uh, very notable people and it's always been fun coming here every year. And uh, as far as I remember, uh, for the last four years I've attended this uh, ceremony. It's always been fun and today it looks like it's better. Yes. Thank you. Prince Mosov, thank you so much for having us here this evening. And I want to congratulate you for the big, you both, for the big success of this evening. A select group of people representing an enormous group of people who would love to be here tonight. Your Royal Highnesses, Your Excellencies, my Lord, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Would you now please warmly welcome Councillor Francis Stainton. Good evening everybody and I should start off formally by saying Your Royal Highness, Your Serene Highness, Your Excellencies, my Lords, Ladies and Gentlemen and everybody here who is of like mind, we are all for peace and prosperity in a world that's pretty challenged at the moment. When you think of the tsunami of troubled people who are suffering from the effects of war, which is frankly tragedy and devastation. We're very lucky here tonight to have people who are the champions and the beacons of light, who are serving humanity in a quite astonishing way, and they are the people we are awarding tonight. But I might say to you also that amongst you there are many others who are not being awarded but who are already doing just as amazing things. And we have winners from last year who have come to see us, mainly because I think they like the atmosphere. So now it's my pleasure to say, to invite and to, to ask Prince Marcin to start the award ceremony and to have the first award winner come to the table. May I say in Arabic, Salam, and our Hebrew, the, my cousins, they say Shalom. And we say greetings and bless you and good evening. So here we are. This is the lovely gathering we have. It's like a United Nation. It's a mini United Nation. And we are somehow we are, uh, you know, certainly uh, attached to some international organizations. In, just like my friend Vesna is here. And we two know, knew each other for a long, long time. And today is the occasion to celebrate this gathering for a good purpose, uh, which the message is love and prosperity. And uh, we select very special people uh, who are, has done something for the society, and something can be at the international level. So we are proud for that, and I'm sure this platform, this organization, would continue forever. And on this occasion, we have selected, I must say, from Saudi Arabia, the Sheikh Abdul Latif bin Hamid, Muhammad al Jabba. May I ask the chef? And I would like very much you must say something about you. Bismillah um, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I will. Sorry, my English not so no, good. No, no, that, that, but I try to yeah. explain as I can. First of all, I thank our friend to give me the chance to meet all these great people and to talk to them with their family and my wife and my daughter, my sons and my nephew. Also very glad to meet all these people. And we are appreciated yeah. of this uh, award, which is a grant to me. And uh, it will be, I will carry it on my chest. Behind the other award, I get it from my government, from late King Fahad, who grant me uh, King Abdulaziz uh, the award. 30, about 25 years ago. So these two awards will keep him on my chest and to remember him. I got many awards from many different countries and through the local, but these two is more important for me. I am glad to what I done for my country, 
and it is a matter of feeling. For me, as, as Muslim people, Islam religion, as other religion, Jewish, Christian, Buddhian, Hindu, all the religion, advise the people to do the good thing for their country and their people. Thank, Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. On this, on this very special, on this very special occasion, Thank you we much. just wanted to give the small token, and Thanks. then you can take, and your name is there. It's like a certificate, you can say. Thank you very much. Right? Thank you for what you're doing. Well, good evening, everyone. I am deeply honoured to be here this evening to receive this award. I've known Prince Mosin and Francis for some years now. They're the ones who should be getting awards. Oh. Yes, oh. yes. <laughs> they do amazing work. It's wonderful to be here in a room full of so many friends from all different parts of the world. And if only we could spread that out, as the previous speaker said, how happy we would all be. Thank you very much. Thank you. So for the work, for the work what you do, if this is a token, you know. Thank uh, you very much. Thank you. Recognition. Thank you. Thank you. For you. Thank you very much, Thank you Thank very you. much for Thank accepting. You. No, 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 my pleasure. Oops. The Royal Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, it's a very deep honour to have such an award. My life has been spent connected with the arts and heritage in the United Kingdom, and I suppose I, I belong to that generation which was brought up you don't expect to be served, you expect to serve. And when I suppose people will remember most about me, um, apart from a lot of things which are very funny, <laughs> um, the great heritage exhibitions at the Victorian Albert when I was director in the 70s, the one on called The Destruction of the Country House on the Fate of the Houses, the one called Change and Decay, on the problem facing rural churches, churches which is now coming up on the agenda very strongly with the Church of England, and finally the one called The Garden, the first ever exhibition on the history of gardening in this country. They removed all those things out of the political arena, particularly the country houses, so that we don't have any kind of division around the fact that our country houses were one of the supreme expressions of British culture and civilization. Oh, no. Should I frame it? No. <laughs> but as long as it's framed in your heart, but do on the wall as well. And say something you can take from us. And uh, It has its own little holder, a little stand, so you could keep it in there. Uh, yes. Or you, you can frame it, whatever you choose. Thank you very much for coming and enlightening us. Well, thank you very much for the honour you bestowed on me. There we go. Number four. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, I'm really happy and thrilled today for this recognition. Um, um, all my life has been um, an advocate for people getting a better education, especially those with gifted and talented abilities. Um, Unfortunately, nowadays and in the whole world, there is an intellectual genocide happening. There is a major decrease in creativity, critical thinking, problem solving, and those who are gifted and talented has been sided very drastically. I, I feel it's my life mission to highlight those who are gifted and talented through better non-conventional education through scientific methods of better nutrition to the brain and better education to those who need it the most. I am with the scientific content of the new educational system, the non-conventional educational system, because science is ideology free, <coughs> science is the enemy <coughs> of dogma, and science is the way forward for a better, prosperous future. Thank you for the recognition, Francis. I'm really thrilled and honored. Thank you. Well, there's something little you can take.
Thank you, Your Hi Royal Highness Prince Moshin Ali Khan, Councillor Francis Stanton, and Mr. Roy Keane OBE for giving me this honor. I am humbled. I am humbled to be here among all these illustrious people to be recognized because I, as you can see, I have a very humble beginning. I started from a refugee camp, having lost my father, ancestor home, and a country due to the partition of India. Because from since that day, it has been in my dream that I could bring people together. Um, I'd like to say I'm really honored to be here. Like two years ago, I was just a normal school kid in Eastbury Comprehensive, and like any other school kid, I never would have thought I'd be here at the House of Lords or even playing for Her Majesty the Queen. Like, it's an achievement I'll never forget. Like, yeah. So, this is something for you, darling. This is something for you. you. Later on, you will get one envelope from us. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.